Your day just got better. Kara Sunlin is joining me as guest co-host today, and we're going to find out how to form a cookbook club and make pistachio chicken and melon kebabs. Plus, Catherine McPhee, the multi-talented performer, talks about her upcoming album and why she's still part of the Idol family. Also, Parmalee are here. The country stars play their new hit, Carolina, for us. And summer beauty help what to eat and drink to keep that healthy glow in the heat. Hi, everybody, and welcome to The Better Show. I'm J.D. Roberto, and my lovely co-host today, Miss Kara Sundlin. Good to have you with us. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here, coming up to see the family. I know. You know, a lot of the uh, folks at home will know you from uh, Better Connecticut. Mm -hmm. uh, you're up in Hartford. What are you doing with your summer? Like, you cannot deny it right now. Summer is here. I am, I'm a summer girl. Okay? Are you? you know, I'm born in July, love summer, have two little kids, ages three and six. So we are just, when not working... Spending as much time at the beach as absolutely possible. So what do you do as a working mom? That's got to be a challenge. You're, you're a, a working mom and a TV personality, but you got the little kids. I have the little kids, so I run home from work. I immediately <laughs> wash the face uh, a couple times, throw sunblock on, and head to a pool or a beach in the summertime. You got to. You got to keep the kids, like, cooled down And the good the thing is doing shows like this, we learn. We learn how to cook. We learn how to balance. We learn. I, I learn. We this do. is a great show. I get schooled on how to be a better mom all the time. If my kids grow up uh, skin cancer free, it will because I learned about sunscreen right. right here, right here on the Better Show. I am, I am way too tan. We just came back from a week, uh, a week off, and yeah. I am way too tan. And I got scolded this morning you have by a our very makeup nice artist. Olive complexion, though. I do, but I'm not normally this dark. I, this is. I'm really like the makeup artist was shaming me this morning. You, <laughs> men you mentioned cooking. Do you cook? Well, um, I do now, and really from the Better Show. I mean, I, when I started doing Better Connecticut, I came back from maternity leave, and I, I, I'll confess, not a great cook. Not a cook. And we do something called Recipe of the Week, and the viewers will often think that maybe I'm still not cooking because we have to <laughs> do something in five minutes. Right. But because of this show, I, I mean, we get free cooking lessons every day. Yeah. So I, I have to say, I made a Fourth of July spread that was all from Better Recipes, and... Everybody really? loved it, and I felt very confident. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, and so you're not just doing like hot dogs for the kids. You're I actually cooking. I made a cooking. shrimp ceviche and a Nutella flag cake. <laughs> Get off the hook. There's okay. So there's I don't know if you've heard about this, but there's a a, a new trend for people out there. Uh, you know, people do book clubs, right? Yeah. Everybody reads a book. It is a cookbook club. Where you like you get together and you every month you get a cookbook and you I learn a new that. recipe. That's great because uh, you know if they say if you can read you can cook. So, yeah. You know get. Uh, so we I'm have soon many I'm going to learn to read and that's going to help. <laughs> I'm going to be able to cook as well. And you are you contributing in the kitchen? I know you're in the same boat as I am with your two little kids. Are you a good uh, griller at least? I'm a good griller. I do the typical guy things. I'm a, I'm a totally competent cook. My wife is better than I am, so mostly I end up cleaning the dishes. Because that's our deal. Whoever cooks that, oh my yeah, gosh, that I person love doesn't that. have to clean. No, that's awesome. Right? That should be, that should uh, be the sure way it is, I'd right? For sure, I'd rather cook, uh, attempt to cook, and then ha that's And great. then have your husband just clean up love after you. Love your helper. That's great. Well, we've got somebody over in the kitchen today who's going to talk to us all about those cookbook clubs I was talking about. She is lifestyle expert, Lamore Sus. What are we making today, Lamore? Uh, we're making pistachio-crusted chicken and melon kebabs. Melon Ooh. kebabs. Mm -hmm. We could copy that spread. I love it. We totally could. Now this is now these are out of cookbooks that you got in a cookbook club. Exactly. So uh, a lot of cook, a lot of book clubs center around cooking anyway. And so what we've done is pick a cookbook, pick two recipes out of it, and decided to show everybody out there how to make them. Great. Uh, that yeah. is what we're going to do. We've also got a treat today uh, in our green room right now. The guys from Parmalee. This country group is uh, they're warming up a little bit later. They're going to play their newest hit. Carolina, you a country music fan? I like some. I like the lyrics. You do? And I listened to the lyrics of the song, and it made me feel something. Good so. storytelling. I was watching right. the video on there, and I was like, oh, that's, yeah. a, that's, a, that's a cute girl. That's what I thought when I saw the video. Yeah. I guess I probably... Makes him feel like Carolina. <laughs> I like it. It does. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to kick things off today with a woman who is now refocusing on her love of music. Yeah, now that our series Smash is over, American Idol runner-up Catherine McPhee is gearing up to release a brand new album. Yes, and in an interesting twist, uh, she told Leslie that her family still has a strong connection to the show that launched her career. Well, you look gorgeous as Thank always, you. all dialed up. Thank you. You like being a fashionista? Oh, I don't know that I'm a fashionista, but I love fashion. I love beauty products. I think I've, over time, I've gotten more into it. I think just being in the industry, you're kind of forced to 
just pay attention to what's what's kind of hip and cool out there. We heard you're working on your third album now that Smash is over. Yeah, I've been busy in the recording studio. I, I moved back to LA, so I'm actually, I loved living here in New York City, and I'm back here in New York City, and I'm very, very happy. I, quite frankly, I don't want to go back. But I do have to go back to finish the studio record, so um, I've, yeah, I've just been busy in the studio. What is the process like for you? Are you writing a lot of songs now? Uh, essentially, I think uh, for the entire record, I'll probably have written written on most of the songs that will be on the record. Uh, I'm not opposed to having songs that I didn't write on, but but I would say I'm definitely trying to make it more of a personal personal album. Connected. Giving back. Tell me a little bit about McPhee's outreach. Oh, Mc, uh, McPhee outreach. Yeah, I, I just find projects that are near and dear to my heart. Um, I try and find needs. Right now, I'm working with Larry No More, so that's I. That's something that I do outside of McPhee outreach. But I, I do some stuff and work in Africa. And how did it touch your heart? Uh, I have. I actually had family members who were. Um, Station. They were working, working for the government in a, a little country called Burkina Faso, and uh, my husband and I were able to help build a school there. And I actually, we just went there last spring, and it was pretty amazing. Now that summer is here, do you have any summer vacation plans? Oh man, you know, I think my focus is really just trying to get uh, the record finished, and then I can make decisions as to what I'm going to do for the summer. So First on American Idol. That was so long ago. Did you know you come this far from those moments back then? You know, I think that um, I don't know where I would. I don't think I anticipated where exactly I would end up, but I, I definitely dreamt of of doing something off of coming off that show. I learned that the show is still close to your heart because both your mother and sister are vocal coaches on the show. <laughs> yeah, they they're busy with the show. They're much busier with it than I am. Do you guys sing like do you carol at Christmas time? Do you do you singing things together sure. as a family? Sure, we do. Yeah, we we all get together and sing carols and things like that at Christmas time. It's fun. On our show, we like to focus on things that make your life better. What makes your life better? Just organization, I think, in general, is what keeps me sort of peaceful. And then spending time with family and friends. But I will say it's hard to come by because it's just been a busy time. And but I'm grateful for it. Uh, well, Catherine says her new album will be out this fall. All right, so coming up, why changing what you eat and drink could be the secret to better skin. We were talking about all the things we learn on the show. Yes, we'll be I'm learning up about for that. better skin right after the break.